At least 21 Israelis were wounded too seriously when an explosive device in an empty bus went off and set fire to another bus in Talpoit in the southwest of occupied Jerusalem Monday afternoon. Remarkably, no deaths were reported. Initial police reports were uncertain whether the blast was an attempted seduce bombing. Nonetheless, all options were being examined until an official investigation is officially finalized. Although no Palestinian militant group claimed responsibility, the Palestinian national factions in the Gaza Strip, including Hamas, prized the operation, describing it as a natural response to the Israeli crimes against their people. Islamic Jihad spokesman Dawood Shab said that the operation is a qualitative development in the course of the Intifada. This operation is a natural reaction to the crimes of the Israeli occupation. It is also a clear message to Jewish settlers who continue to storm the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound and it signals a qualitative and important development in the course of the Intifada. This means that the Intifada is approaching new styles, which will continue in spite of the attempts of ruining it. For many Israelis, the explosion brought back worrying memories of similar attacks carried out by Palestinians in Jerusalem several years ago. Palestinian analysts say the incident is a plow for Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who stated last week that the Intifada in the occupied West Bank and Jerusalem has subsided due to his government's policies. Nuhar Zintilisu TV, Palestine.